Howdy everyone and welcome to the Serial Geek TV YouTube channel. My name is James Etock and today we're going to take a look at the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Even after all these years it still pains me to say that you, you never quite get over it. Specifically today we're going to take a look at the heavily edited Hero Turtles introduction sequence. And oh boy is it heavily edited. UK censorship laws during the 70s, 80s and early 90s were very strict. It was censorship policy to not show nunchucks on screen at all. The memorable scene in Enter the Dragon in which Bruce Lee uses his nunchucks was sloppily removed from the film, and the movie's poster in which he wields those very same nunchucks was edited to have him unconvincingly holding a wooden stick. Yikes. As a result, when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles debuted on UK television screens in 1990, timed with the release of the toy line, the brand was sadly the victim of those very same censorship laws. Any references to the word ninja and the use of Michelangelo's nunchucks in the show were removed, and nowhere was this more apparent than the beautifully animated introduction sequence. Before I get into this, let me tell you a little story. From 1987 onward, I would frequent the comic shops of London, often saving up enough money to buy the odd Jack Kirby issue of Thor here and there. Issue 126 is still a personal favourite. In these shops you were always greeted with racks upon racks of Marvel and DC comics, and a few racks of independent comics. I still recall seeing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic, published by Mirage Studios and admittedly being put off by the painted cover of these four very angry mutants sporting red bandanas. In August of 1989, my father and I went to Canada for a holiday. I remember going to Toys R Us and geeking out, seeing the latest figures from the real Ghostbusters toy line, and, rather amazingly, some boxed deluxe Insecticons, which I hurriedly purchased. I also remember walking down one particular aisle adorned with action figures of those Ninja Turtles I would seen on the covers of those rather unappealing comics. Whilst in Canada, we naturally went to Niagara Falls. Whilst waiting in line, Kevin, the son of my father's friend who had emigrated to Canada in the 70s, sang a little song. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you get the idea. Five months later, on January the 3rd, 1990, I sat down to watch Children's BBC and was greeted with a familiar theme song. Kind of. Rather than hearing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as Kevin had so expertly recreated, my ears were being bombarded with the chant of Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Even back in 1990 as a 12 year old, though I'd never seen the actual Ninja Turtles introduction, something felt very wrong with the Hero Turtles introduction. This may be due to me having that prior knowledge of the heroes in a half show and the fact that even back then I could spot an edit a mile away. I'm looking at you, UK broadcasts of He-Man. Greetings, Mother. Father, sorry I'm late. So what was missing, I hear you ask? All the shots of Michelangelo wielding his nunchucks were replaced with clips from the Incredible Shrinking Turtles that were inexplicably random in their choice. As The Incredible Shrinking Turtles was an episode with average animation at best, the difference between the animation styles was jarring to say the least. The shots of the heavily rendered fearsome looking turtles of the introduction would suddenly be followed by shots featuring designs that were a great deal more simplified and rounded. Also, as an audience, we would see Donatello, Leonardo and Raphael in action, along with close-ups of their weapons, but Michelangelo was nowhere in sight. As I already mentioned, the theme song was also completely re-recorded, including the infamous replacement of the lyric Splinter taught them to be ninja teens, with Splinter taught them to be fighting teens. Surprisingly, as the Hero Turtles took hold in the UK, the BBC featured a lengthy report on the craze in which they showed clips from the Ninja Turtles introduction sequence, specifically the shot of Michelangelo using his nunchucks to repel a variety of objects. I mean, that just hurt. And now for your entertainment, because you people made me do this, we're all going to share in this pain together, I will now showcase the wonderfully bad edits of the Hero Turtles introduction sequence. Oy. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. 
In the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles introduction sequence, we see the camera pull back past all four turtles looking incredibly mean and cloaked in darkness, which is an obvious acknowledgement to the animated series comic book origins. This memorable shot is followed by the show's iconic logo morphing into place. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power! In the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles introduction sequence, the logo slowly dissolves onto the screen shortly after we see the beams of light shoot through the manhole cover. When the logo has completely formed, the footage underneath awkwardly pauses on this image of Michelangelo. Note that his nunchucks are covered by the computer illustrated logo. Now take a look under the logo itself and you will see that there are clearly two frames interweaved on screen. For some reason, the editor paused the image between two frames. We also find ourselves questioning the Teenage Mutant Hero part of the text, which fails to conform to the border around it. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. After the action-packed sequence showing the turtles flying through the air with each of them drawing their weapon of choice, we are treated to this rather dramatic shot. The background races past as the turtles strike dynamic poses and, on the whole, look pretty mean. As the camera pans across all four turtles, it slowly begins to favour Michelangelo, who aggressively bears his nunchucks for the audience. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power! After the action-packed sequence showing the turtles flying through the air with each of them drawing their weapon of choice, the first of the footage from the incredible shrinking turtles is inserted into the introduction. We see a shot of a cloaked figure, Michelangelo disguised as the Shredder, leaping down towards the camera, immediately followed by a shot of Donatello readying his staff. In the background of the shot we see Raphael wearing a hat with Flora atop it, which makes sense in the context of the episode itself but doesn't really work in an introduction sequence. It should be noted that these two shots actually appear back to back in the episode, resulting in this being a relatively easy edit for the UK based videotape editors. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. Given the sensor's sensitivity towards nunchucks thus far in the introduction sequence, it comes as no surprise that this beautifully animated close up of Michelangelo's nunchucks being brandished is completely removed. It is an utterly frustrating removal as we still see the shots of Raphael, Donatello and Leonardo with their weapons in hand. In this shot, the four Ninja Turtles drop past the screen with each of them attacking the camera with their weapons. This shot is memorably brought to a close as Leonardo slices the screen in two, transitioning to the next scene. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power! To this day, I'm not sure what possessed them to think that this was a convincingly good edit. At first we see Donatello briefly swoop into shot, however rather than have Michelangelo spinning his nunchucks as he drops past the camera, we awkwardly cut to a shot of Shredder lowering a pair of binoculars, again from the episode The Incredible Shrinking Turtles. Once he has lowered the binoculars, we cut back to the footage as Raphael passes the camera. The cut is so incredibly jarring it makes me wonder why they just didn't edit this entire sequence out and replace it with shots of the Ninja Turtles in action from another episode. In one of my most favourite shots from the Ninja Turtles introduction sequence, we watch Michelangelo use his nunchucks skillfully to deflect a random collection of threatening objects thrown in his direction. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power! Believe it or not, the beautifully animated shot of Michelangelo using his nunchucks was replaced by a random shot of a spaceship, a static shot of the Technodrome, and an averagely animated shot of Krang talking. <laughs> Once more, these shots are all taken from the incredible shrinking turtles. What were the editors thinking? Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. In the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles introduction sequence, the final image featuring the lead characters has them pause for a second, standing in front of the Technodrome before racing towards the camera and launching themselves into the air. The way in which the turtles take great efforts to leap skyward is animated to perfection, with all of them taking big final strides and dipping down low before launching themselves out of shot. Upon careful inspection, however, we see that Michelangelo is whirling his nunchucks. That, combined with the title card making another appearance, meant that the editors had to make their presence felt once more when it came to the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles introduction sequence. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power! We see a shot of the turtles from the Incredible Shrinking Turtles running towards the camera. As they near the camera, the title once again slowly dissolves onto the screen and the image in the background freezes. The framing is not all that clever as Donatello's face is partially obscured. At least the editors realise that the final shot of the introduction sequence should feature all four turtles. 
To this date, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series, as it was intended to be seen, has never aired on UK television, and yet rarely do you find anyone in the UK that calls the original cartoon by its Hero Turtles moniker. This is because during the peak of the show's popularity, pretty much every child knew that the brand was supposed to be known as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The closest the UK ever came to airing something that resembled the original cartoon was when a special, combining four of the first five episodes into a mini-movie, was aired quite randomly on one of the UK Sky satellite movie channels. Some edits were made to ensure that Michelangelo was not shown with his nunchucks, but the introduction, with a few edits here and there, remained intact, as did the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song and title card. The first time I ever saw the introduction sequence in its entirety was when I attended a car boot sale, or a flea market as some of you may say, sometime in 1995, and saw someone selling one of the US video releases. Needless to say, many of my friends wanted to see that tape as they had never seen the introduction sequence in its entirety. One of the saddest effects that the UK censoring had on the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series was that Michelangelo's nunchucks were retired after the third season, resulting in him using a grappling hook for a weapon. For me, this took away a great deal of what made the character cool. It just looked bizarre as the turtles would run into battle with Michelangelo brandishing a grappling hook. Years later, the censoring laws would thankfully ease, and as a result, the 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series remained intact, with no edits whatsoever. But don't think this is where the story ends, at least not on this channel. One of the most beautifully animated episodes of the series was heavily edited, and I'll get into that on another video. And that's the end. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.